Coco is purring on your back. Then I'm disappointed in you for not telling me about it. I'm so sorry, Tony. Your mom told me not to let you know about it. That was why I didn't inform you. Pardon me. I even heard you've sewn the wrapper already. Yeah, I did. She instructed me to do so. So my mom was trying to manipulate you against me, and you agreed to that. Tony, I never saw it that way. I only felt she loves me and wanted me to be part of that wedding. That's all. Really? So you do attend weddings just like that? You don't even know who is doing the wedding? I know. He's Kennedy. Oh, wonderful. So smart of you. Now, listen. I won't be attending that wedding for your information. Why? Is it because I was invited? Not really. I have some other commitments on that very day. So you and my mother should enjoy your day to the fullest. No, Tony, don't do this to yourself. You don't have to keep being sober. This life is too short to worry yourself. Is it your worry? Leave my worry for me and mind your business. I know you had an ulterior motive when you were acting the good girl script before my mom. Listen, no woman can deceive me at this point in my life. I have seen it all. Tony, what are you saying? What wrong have I done? You did totally wrong for being too forward and being easily manipulated. If I started seeing you later in the future, I'm pretty sure this is how you are going to allow my mother to manipulate you. Diana, you really fell my hand. What? When I'm beginning to trust you, is when you decide to show this big red flag. I can't overlook it. Sorry if I'm really hard on you. I just want to say this now and clear my mind. Have a nice day. Gosh, I really felt bad for how he talked to me. Angela, imagine, the guy telling me right to my face that I'm forcing myself on him. What nonsense. Calm down there. I know how hurtful he can be. To me, it isn't your fault. You were just trying to help out. See me see Walao. I was just trying to help him heal and he saw it as fleeting. He's not even my type of guy. I don't blame him. He's not even any way up to my Pascal. Just ignore him. It's all his mother's fault. She's just trying to cadre you into her son's life. She doesn't know she's doing the wrong thing. She should allow her son to always follow his mind. God will bless you. Exactly what I said to his mother the other day I was with her. Who knows if it was due to her manipulating and dictating her son's life. That's why he always fall victims of bad women. Of course. Maybe that's how she has been forcing ladies on her son. Maybe because she saw me driving Mercedes Benz. That's why she wants her son to marry me by all means. <laughs> oh, now you are talking. It's definitely the reason why she loves you so much. Maybe she thinks you came from a rich family. Which rich family? Now, nah, Jack Baka, I be oh, I need to hide them. <laughs> Diana, please don't crack my ribs this evening. Her attitude is similar to my own Anthony's mother attitude. That's how she behaves too. She always forces him to date rich ladies. And that's why they keep finding it difficult to find true love. <laughs> yeah, yeah, people. Anthony, how dare you confront that lady and insult her? Is that what she told you? That I, Anthony, insulted her? Yes, you did. You insulted her. I didn't insult her, mom. I only told her what she did was wrong. How can she be having a secret meeting with my mother without my consent? That's too forward and disrespectful to me. How is that disrespectful to you? Was it your meeting? The rapper I gave her was bought with my money and not yours. If I decide to take Diana as a friend and a daughter, how is that wrong with you? Everything about it is totally wrong. You can make friends with someone you met through me. If I am not close to her, then you are not permitted to be close to her too. Tony, you are becoming a sadist and your attitude recently is becoming annoying. A sad man can always be a sadist. Mom, get my words straight. I don't need any woman in my life for now. I haven't gotten out from the previous one and you are already forcing another one on me. Tony, sit down. Let's discuss this. Mom, there is nothing we are discussing about. I have told you my mind and I want you to stick to those words, please. Hmm, this is becoming more serious. Hmm. Now, wow. So, Pasca get mind by that Diana Gailey Ben. What did she even do for herself? Hmm. You know how manipulative that Diana is? She must have brainwashed the guy. Which kind of brainwash she wishes to be no, no. You know what, no, now. If you don't calm down and hit targets, you're always ruining game for yourself. Charlie, don't even start again. You have to learn and apply wisdom and tactics in what you are doing. I beg no, they blame me. Are you not the one that kept telling me not to keep wasting my time in Pascal's house? I wanted to calm down and enter the guy first. But now you spoil that game for me and here you are blaming me. Don't make me vest now. How many months did you spend here without winning his trust? You did not play the game well. I beg, no start arguments. Charlie, you better bury this matter and make a new vest. You don't do. Hi, sweetie. I missed your calls. 
Yeah, I called to know how my king is faring. Your king is always bouncing greatly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bouncing, baby boy. <laughs> Funny you. How are you doing, my darling? Your baby is fine, no one you. Same here. Hope Linda hasn't called again. I've already blocked her from calling, trust me. Good. I've paid the special anti-criminal team to help me track her and her accomplices and make sure that they are brought to book. Good. Justice must be served. Linda will never go unpunished. She's just so unrepentant. Um, one more thing. I want you to stop posting much about yourself on your social media pages for security reasons. Since she stalks your social media accounts now, you two have to be careful of what you post. Always stay safe too, okay? Alright dear, you gave a very good advice. I'll do just as you said. Thanks dear. You're welcome. You know I hurt you so much and no matter the distance between us, it's my duty to protect you. You're my queen for life. Oh, I'm touched. Thank you. I love you for life, boo. You're my king for life. <laughs> my dear, I am so sorry for my son's attitude. Please forgive him on my behalf. It's alright. I've already forgiven him, but I doubt if we could be that close again. No, now, don't say such. It hasn't gotten to that with time, you will understand my son. He is a hot-tempered person and he easily gets pissed off, but he's a nice person as well. I've already studied him and I think I told you this before. Tony is so broken. His attitude keeps reflecting how broken he is. He really needs help, but he doesn't admit it. You are 100% correct. My son really needs help. His mental health is going down every day. I don't even know what to do. I suggest you hand him over to his psychotherapist that will help work on him. It was what I was trying to do, but you both misunderstood me. How did I misunderstand you, please? You thought I was shooting my shot at your son. You thought I had an ulterior motive for coming into his life. Oh no, I never thought such, please. I only saw how wonderful and caring you are, and I wanted such kind of woman for my son, because that is what he actually needs in his life. It's alright, ma. I won't force relationship on him anymore. But I always wish him well. Trust me, no hard feelings, ma. I called you here to apologize for what I said to you the other day. It's fine, no hard feelings. Are you sincere? Of course, why will I remain mad at you when I knew what I did was wrong? I admit my mistake and promise you today that I'll keep my distance. Um, no. I didn't say you should avoid her completely or make enemies with her. I understand why she did what she did as well. But I just wanted to keep the relationship balanced. I am your friend and my mom is an acquaintance. That's how I want it to be, please. <laughs> okay. Why the laughter? Nothing, it's fine. I will do just as you've said. Alright. Please excuse me, I want to pick these calls. Alright. Hello, Angela, where are you? Outside the restaurant. Okay, I'm inside now, you can call me now. Are you going to the market already? Okay, just come in and drop it. Come in, Joe. Who was that? My sister, the one who lives with me. Your sister's name is Angela? Yeah, she's Angela. Hmm, okay. Yeah, would you like to meet her? She will be here soon. Alright. Babe, why don't you want to come in and say hi to him? That's cause I'm running late already. Maybe next time. I need to hurry up so I can get to the market before they close. It's almost closing hours. Alright, did you cook the soup? Yes, I did. Which soup did you cook? Vegetable soup. Oh, you're a darling. You made my favorite. Yeah, enjoy as you like. Yeah, yeah, gay. You have a plan. You want to add up SS with Abby? <laughs> <laughs> That's not a bad thing now. You try. You know, say I didn't watch my weight. Ah, uh, sorry, madam. Wait in one contest for a bag with your weight watching. Oh, I forgot to tell you, this baby girl here is going for contest for Miss Universe Nessie. So don't ruin my figure eight shape a bag. Since you come my house, I don't chop like Umu. Spare me with food, Angela. <laughs> <laughs> You're not serious. If I continue watching your drama today, I won't be able to go to this market. Bye bye. Enjoy your vegetable soup. Alright, babe. See you later. Love you. Love you too, sweetie. Bye. Tony, what's the meaning of these dramas you have been putting up recently? I don't like it. Don't make me get hypertension cons of you. Mom, I'm so sorry for all the pains I caused you. I know I've been acting up lately and I understand how annoying that could be to you as my mother. But I want you to understand something today. And what I'm about to explain to you will help you to also understand why I have been doing this. Okay, you can go ahead and explain your reasons. 
Alright, you see mom, I am a kind man that doesn't really easily fall in love and when I do, I find it difficult to fall out of love. I want to discuss the issue of Angela. No, Anthony, I don't want to hear anything about her. Please, can you hear me out first? You didn't even allow me to land. This is one of the reasons why I keep acting strangely to you because you don't even give me the room to express myself. Tony, I just want you to stop talking about that lady. Please listen to what I want to say. Angela is a woman I love so much and it's really heartbreaking to see her betray me. I haven't gotten over the heartbreak yet and there are many hidden things I need to unravel that would help me to get over her. And those things are? Getting to know the truth of what exactly happened when we traveled to her hometown. Getting to know if she was truly raped by Uncle Nat or not. Getting to know who told Nat that I am dead and why he confidently told Angela the same thing. No, Tony. You don't have to dig deep into all that. Let all that be bygone. No, mom. I won't because the answers to these questions would be the only thing that would make my mental health to be stable again. Mom, I'm losing it every day. Why? Because of all these unanswered questions, it keeps making me feel that Angela is saying the truth and Mr. Nat cooked up all those stories to frustrate us. I don't even know what I am thinking. I'm just so confused, mom. Anthony, I think we have to go back to the States. I can't watch you run mad because of that Angela. What do I do now? How do I prevent Tony from carrying out this investigation? It's too clear that he is fully ready for it. I need to go see Nat and rob minds with him. I blame that rubbish kilo for sparing that lady's life. If he had killed her as I instructed him to do, this won't be having. Nevertheless, it isn't late yet. I will destroy that Angela so that Anthony will regain his peace of mind. Ever since that wind gear came to his life, my son is gradually losing it. I will now handle her myself, both physically and spiritually. Mr. Nat, the questions you have to answer are two major questions. You told Angela that I was dead. How did you know I was dead? Um, I heard you were kidnapped. Who told you I was kidnapped? Angela did, over the phone. Okay, so you assumed I was dead, right? Yes, I assumed so. Hmm. Just like that, someone told you that your nephews were kidnapped in her hometown and you immediately believed such without any concrete evidence. You weren't even moved by the sad news. Tony, you can't start judging me now. Let the court do that. Sure, it will. Angela also said that you raped her in your house. Is that true also? How can I rape a woman I share the same bed with? Anthony, I'm ready for any interrogation and investigation from the police. <laughs> okay, do you have Angela's phone number? Yeah, I do. Good. You will have to lure her back to your house. This case will commence soon. I can help you with her number if you need it. No, I don't. You have to call her yourself and ask her to come back and hand over herself to the police. No, we are not going anywhere, Angela. You have to turn down that invitation. Why? Won't that make him feel that I am guilty? No, listen. You have been afar. You don't know the evil these people are planning. You want to go back to the same man who threw you out of his house when you were pregnant and never bothered to check on you. Angela, use your sense now. You are right, but I am not doing this because of Nat. I am doing it because of Tony. I need to prove my innocence to him. Then they should do it the right way. The police should be the one inviting you for interrogations and not Mr. Nat and Anthony. You are right. I should go to the police and surrender myself for interrogations instead of going to them. Sure, that's what you ought to do. You better not go to their houses so you don't know what they have in mind towards you. When next he calls you, tell him that you aren't coming. Rather, they should invite you to the police station to make your statements. Okay, I will tell him that if he calls again. Good. Always plan saving anything you do in this life. Nat, when you called her, what did she say? She told me to tell Tony that she would come. On what day did she tell you she would be coming? Um, I think she said she would be coming on Wednesday. Okay, thanks for the information. What do you intend doing to her? Because I know who you are. You want to kill her? You better don't because you will make things complicated for yourself. God forbid. Have I ever killed someone before? Why will you say such a thing? I just want to have a talk with her. Okay, when she comes, I will let you know. All right, thanks. Hope you haven't told Tony anything. No, I didn't. All right, don't worry about the police issue and court case. I will manipulate all that. Just make sure you keep our secret and never let my soul know that I was involved in it. Okay, but you have to keep renewing that deal with money. Money again, Nathania. 
Them do you do money? You too like money? Charlie, we guys go collect that car from that girl. <laughs> <laughs> now, how you think, say, it's day easy to collect? I have a nice plan. Okay, I'm listening. I will open another Facebook account with a different name and someone else's picture. I will use that account to chat her up. Okay, you chat her up and do what? And get information about her location. I just want to get her location. Oh, yeah, now. Try, let's see. Sure, I will do that. You can never pretend to be businessmen and invite her to come visit us. Hmm, that's what might not work, oh. Me, not just her location I need. I don't need her presence. Okay, now. Get it. Make we go collect that Benz from her. Diana, I want to take this bold step and I would like you to support me as my friend. Oh, so we are now friends. <laughs> yeah, friends with benefits. Friends in seeking for justice. Don't worry, I will pay you for this. Never mind, I don't need the money. Tell me what my job would be. Um, apart from being by my side through all this, you also have a special assignment you need to do for me. Okay, tell me, what will I do? The lady in question hasn't shown up ever since my uncle invited her. I will get her phone number and you will call her and help me get her location. Okay, so what's her name and other details about her? Okay, her name is Angela. She was pregnant when she left. I don't know if she has given birth now. Okay, can I see her picture? Sure. Hold on a bit. Let me get my phone from the car. Alright. Diana, why are you not saying anything to me ever since you came back? What happened? Oh, Paul is well. Hmm. Diana, what's going on? What have you been doing hmm, hmm, since you came back? What's the problem? Talk to me, please. Angela. Yes, any problem? Diana, please talk to me. You have just kept me in suspense. I don't know what's happening. Let's talk tomorrow. No, Diana, I won't go to bed this night if you don't tell me what's going on. I can't talk tonight. I need to rest my head. This head is full. I will talk to you about it tomorrow, I promise. That means you don't want me to sleep tonight. I will have to stay awake till tomorrow morning. How can I sleep with such strange attitude you are displaying tonight? Diana, what is it? Talk to me. Mr. MD, I asked you to teach those children English grammar and not slangs. Ha! They have to learn the slangs first, cause those ones are easier to learn than grammar. Stop it, Mr. MD. Don't teach them slangs again in this school. You have so corrupted their communication ethics. Listen, I think I will have to suspend you from teaching English. Maybe you should be taking mathematics henceforth. No, Allah. She be a man. I go still teach her. You are lucky that you have a versatile teacher like me in this school that can teach all subjects. Next time I come here, we will discuss about salary increment. Mathematics salary, they different too. Like it came to me as a shock. I almost screamed when he showed me your picture. Thank God I managed to control my emotions. Hmm, thank you for being this sincere to me. Honestly, I am confused. Don't even know what to say. But one thing I have learned to do is to trust fate. Though life makes circumstances to revolve around themselves, but fate would allow it to fix things up and place them where they ought to be. Like, I'm just shocked. <laughs> What are you crying for? The only thing we should be doing now is planning. I won't let him know that we are friends. Okay, that's good. Okay, so he asked me to help him search for you. What does he want from me? I think he wants you to come to the police station and prove your innocence. Oh God, how did the relationship that started peacefully now head into the police station? What was all this? Angela, this is not what you should be doing at this moment. You should pull yourself together and begin to organize the statement you will render at the police station. Alright, I will honor the invitation. I will go there and defend myself. I can't be punished for a crime I know nothing about. Good, now you're talking. Always be brave and courageous. So when is she visiting with station? Next week. What about Natanya? He's coming as well. Okay, that is good. You won't be there as well? Hmm, I'm not sure for now because I have a business seminar coming up next week. Would it be a day seminar? Nope, three day seminar. Okay, but you have to be there, mom. This is we seeking for justice. We need to know who plotted all that and whose pockets received your 10 million era. Hmm, I have forgotten about that money. One day, they will surely finish it. My joy is you are still being alive. I wouldn't have been able to buy you with that money. It's true, mom. You are one in a million. I regard that selfless sacrifice you did for my sake and I will never forget it. I'm always grateful. I love you, mom. I love you too, my son.